there's tremendous yeah. diversity within the straight, you know, what we might have called straight white men. There's diversity within those groups of people. And I, and it's very radical for me to point that out and say that I believe that and that I've seen evidence of it over and over again in my work, because traditionally um, nobody in that cohort has thought they had any knowledge about diversity. Like it's just hasn't been spoken about. And you're right, the way men express their gender, the way that heterosexual cisgender men express their gender is on a giant continuum. You're absolutely right. It's all, that's always been true. Then you have intersectionality within men's communities, right? We have men of color. We have queer men of color. There's huge diversity to explore within this sort of, you know, incorrect monolith that we talk about. Um, and we haven't really been talking about that. We've talked a lot about, you know, more relatively about intersectional, um, you know, women. We've talked more about the in impact of multiple overlapping stigmatized identities, which is the definition of intersectionality by Kimberly Crenshaw. But I think that the men's conversation about the same thing is uh, in its infancy, in my experience. And I think that we've got to start to not view any group as a monolith, because that's not true. It's not accurate. It's not inclusive. And so, you know, I, as much as as a woman, when I walk into an all-male room, and I have certain reactions to that from, um, I think it's very conditioned in me, I have to literally not have a bias against that group and say, hold on, I'm having a bias. <laughs> Let me think about all the diversity dimensions that exist in this group of people that I might have this sort of you know, initial reaction or initial bias. I might see those individuals through a certain lens. And I try to challenge that every day in my work. That's really revolutionary, honestly. And for a woman, it's very revolutionary because we have major safety issues, <laughs> clearly. You know, we walk through this world and we're, we're used to uh, being doubted and having our credibility questioned and um, having to manage our gender and all the stereotypes that it triggers. And yet to push through that and say, you know what, I'm going to give people a new chance every single time to show me who they really are and to be inclusive of all of the parts of who they am and acknowledge that they are also covering, they're also hiding, they're also passing. They are also having to assimilate and go through that very painful dance of conforming to a very narrow definition of what, it's, what is okay to be as a man, we have to have compassion for that as well as do our own work.